Welcome to another math episode. Today you're going to be dividing with exponents. These exponent rules just keep on adding up. But if you don't know how to do these topics, I do have a lesson for each one of those. Watch those first before you do this one. But if you understand it, let's move on. I did write some rules on the top. So these are the three things you want to look for. One, switch any negative exponents. So if you see any negative exponents in the beginning, you can switch those out. Uh, number two, reduce or simplify the coefficients in the front. So you're not subtracting those coefficients. They're just fractions. So like fractions, if you can simplify it and reduce it, do so. And this is the major rule right here. The major rule, number three, subtract exponents with the same base. Write the results on the top. Let's start with the easiest one. When you got x to the seventh power, that just means that there's seven x's in a row like that. Seven x's being multiplied to each other. And x squared just means two x's being multiplied to each other. If they got the same term on the top and bottom, all you do is cancel them out. So now you will get 5x is being multiplied together, left over, which equals x to the fifth power. That is just way too much writing and work for me. There is a shortcut, which is this rule right here. All you gotta do is subtract exponents with the same base. Another way to do this is just 7 minus 2, which equals x to the fifth power easy as that let's apply that to the next question you want to look for negative exponents there's none then you want to look at the coefficients 10 over 15 you are not subtracting those that you just reduce 10 over 15 is the same as two-thirds so that's over with when they have the same base all you got to do is subtract the exponents but from top to bottom so looking at base x, you got a 4 and a 2. You're going to write the results on the top, and you're just doing 4 minus 2, just like that. So we'll, we'll simplify that afterwards. If this doesn't have an exponent, it really has an imaginary 1. So all you're doing, again, and you're writing the results on the top, is 3 minus 1. The z squared, that just stays in the bottom. You can't do anything with it. So if you can't touch it, leave it where it's at. If it's at the bottom, leave it at the bottom. And simplify from here. Two thirds, we're not gonna touch. That's gonna stay the same. Four minus two for the X is gonna get you X squared. And Y, three minus one is also Y squared. The Z squared remains at the bottom. And there's nothing else you can really do that is it, that is it. Let's go over the last question. I'm gonna tackle the coefficients first because that's the first thing that I see. So 12 over negative three is the same thing as negative four. You're gonna put those results on the top, negative four. Unless it's a fraction, but that actually simplifies to a whole number. So that's over with. I cross them off, that way I know what I took care of. The next thing I like to do is just get rid of the negative exponents right away. And you might have a faster way, but I just want an organized way for now until you get some practice with this. So all I did was move that C to the negative third on the top because it had a negative exponent. You just gotta switch its positions. From here, you could do several things and you can start doing these in your head. So if you want to do it in your head and you don't want to write as many steps, you can actually subtract this in your head right away and then just write the result. But make sure you put it on the top. So if I do this, they got the same base. You're really just doing 3 minus 1, which is going to get you B squared. So I took, a, I took care of that. I took care of these. These right here, the C's. If they got the same base, all you gotta do is add the exponents. So you're gonna get C5. So that's done. And now we got this part, D1 and five. If I take away one minus five, I'm going to get D2. 
to the negative fourth power like that. So now assess what you got and you can keep going. You can actually keep going. The negative four I'm not touching. And the only thing to fix right here is that negative exponent. So all you have to do with this is flip it to the bottom, d to the fourth power. You do what's inside the parentheses first. So we'll start with two and negative one, the coefficients. That simplifies to negative two, and we're gonna write that result on the top. So that's over with. X2 and X, if this doesn't have an exponent, you slide in a one, and all you're doing is subtracting from top to bottom. Two minus one is one. You don't have to put the one on the X. You can if you want to, because we're gonna do something with that uh, afterwards. Three and two, that result is a one again. And Z3, there's nothing to do with it. And it was at the bottom, so we're gonna leave it at the bottom. Remember that all of this is still in parentheses raised to the third power. And afterwards, you're gonna have to take care of that exponent and the outside by just multiplying it to each exponent in the inside. Don't forget that this coefficient also has a one. So let's distribute that three out right now. Now you got negative two to the third. X will have the third power, Y three, and Z will have now a nine. There is one last thing to do. You just have to compute negative two to the third power and that will equal negative eight. There is a lot to think about and my biggest suggestion is to keep asking yourself, is there anything I can do to simplify this further? Okay, I want you to try this problem on your own. Just pause the video, try it out. When you are done, unpause it for the answer. All right, here is the answer. A lot of stuff going on, like I mentioned, and there's more than one way to tackle this. First thing I did was distribute this two to each exponent. Remember that you only do it to the ones in the parentheses. You're not timesing it to this one because that is not in the parentheses. So after you do that, you will get this result right here. You cannot simplify these two because they're not the same base. I try to trick you with it. So all you can do is calculate three to the third which is 27 and two to the third, which is eight. From there, my strategy was to switch my negative exponent and there was only one, which is this. I moved it right to the bottom. We're almost there. All you gotta do is subtract exponents with the same base. Sometimes you'll get something like this. Four minus four is zero. So technically those cancel out. They cancel each other out and C6 and C2 will get me C4. This is my final answer. I hope you got the same answer as this or you were close to it and you were just one little step off. I do have other videos that will explain the exponent rules if you need it. Throw me a like and a subscribe and I will see you on the next episode. Peace.